Hello guys and welcome back to Mortal Kombat Mobile and today is all about Liu Kang's epic piece, the most mysterious piece of gear in this game. So today I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this gear, I'm gonna show you some insane damage, I'm gonna show you some setups, I'm gonna show you some things you might not have seen before. Let's start with the gear. 40% chance to apply fire on basic attacks. MK11 Scorpion with this piece is insane. Then damage boost against outworld characters are uh, just average. The real reason though you wanna use this gear is because of this. A fireball dealing 500% of its basic attack damage. This thing here has been bugged for maybe a year now and they never seem to fix it. However, they did nerf it in 5.0. You just don't know about it. They never said anything in the patch notes, but now it does 30 to 40% less damage. Before 5.0, you could do stuff like this. 100 million damage in survivor mode. I remember posting this on a platform and everyone was saying, this is Photoshop, this is damage hacks, it's not real. This is real. Funny thing was that most of the people accusing me of hacking were the ones with this piece maxed out. They were saying like, I can only do like 20 million with this, 100 is impossible, damage hacks, this guy's gonna get banned, stuff like that. Just because someone else can do something you can't, doesn't mean they hacking. In fact, I'll prove it right now. I actually made a video to NRS about this piece of gear, about the tower damage, about the setups I use, about the talents, about the teams, about the strategy. Everything in one video. And this was before the nerf in 5.0. So let's see the base damage of the fireball in battle mode. No talents, no gear. First we're going for normal base damage. 138. Now I'm using talents and I want to see lethal hits and critical hits. Still no gear. And after battle mode, I'm gonna show you how to increase this damage by a lot. 444 lethal. And the last one, critical hits. 222,000. And now, couple of different setups. Starting with Fire God Liu Kang, Edenian Tower Fatal 191. So here I just have maxed out tower gear and I have the vengeance because I need to set them on fire. Then I have Raiden for basic attack damage boost, Shintai of Malice for death mark on tagging, and Director's Share for extra critical damage. Sub-Zero, Sub Shield Break Curse, debuffs and freeze, and then just tag out. And remember now, this is 5.0 so the damage is gonna be less. The first thing I need to do is to activate Liu Kang's passive. And once I have 7 fire stacks, I will get 200% extra basic attack damage. And then we need to start stacking debuffs. We need shield break curse, death mark bleed and freeze. And then also we need to stack director's share critical damage. I know it seems complicated. There's few more setups after this one that are way less complicated. But I'm showing you the best one. The highest damage possible now. Just need two more stacks. One more. There we go. So now debuff time. And critical hit damage time. So I need to stack some special ones here. Also need shield break. No shield break. There we go. Now I have 3 stacks, bleed, curse, 10 million damage. Now I'm showing you the lethal damage, where we can't rely on curse. Still 10 million. And if you can't be bothered with the Fire God Liu Kang fire stacks, then you can try this setup. With this one, you only need to do 1 shield break, 1 special 2, and then tag out. And I removed Vengeance because I don't need fire anymore. So instead I'm having extra basic attack damage boost. Alright, shield break special 2, fireball. 
shield break already. Just need a special two, then tag out. And because I have Shintai of the North on Raiden, look at this, frozen. 7.9 million damage. So now let's try this against bosses, Adenian Tower, still 5.0. Already shield break, now curse, and then tag out. 7 million damage. And this is before 5.0, 10 million against bosses. And here Shao Kahn's Tower 87, also before 5.0. Some nice stacking of death marks here. Freeze, tag out. Insane damage. How about some Team Soak? I mean Team Fireball. Yes, Team Fireball. How about some real Team Soak and then Team Fireball? You can see here, she have Revenant, but the teammates will take team damage. Right there. And you might have seen my insane tagging video, but if you didn't... And you also might have seen my uh, Codal Noob combination in Fatal Adenian. And what about the movie raiding glitch together with the fireball? Special one. Cancel. I'm gonna tag in Sub-Zero. Special 1, Fireball, destroyed. And how about that 100 million damage in Survivor mode? I'm using Kwai Liang Scepter on Liu Kang. So easy. Every Fireball hit will become lethal. Another freeze, and then tag out. So imagine doing this against a team with Revenant and Strike for Scorpion. The amount of damage you can do is insane. I had battles I did 10 to 15 million damage in one battle. And I just have to try Gold Liu Kang too. 1.2 million. And the list really goes on and on and on. I can come up with even more strategies. I have more strategies. But I will finish this video in the beginning. One of the best pieces in the game right now. Will they nerf it again or even fix the gear? Only time will tell. But even if they do, you will always be able to come back and watch this video for some really insane MK Mobile history. I hope you liked this video. Take care. See you next time.